Okay, we have basically let this dry and we flipped it over and we can see how it's going to look a little bit. Um, you can see now there's some spots that are really thin. So, um, you know, I'm just going to go for it from this point, but just know if you don't like the results, you can always uh, put another layer of blue on the back side and make those lines darker. But we're just going to go for it. Um, take note, you want to take a piece of blue tape, right? Do not paint this side and you want to put it right over here. Okay. Well, you could put it on the front. I'm going to actually put it right on the front because that would be such a waste of time if I started painting this and then realized later, whoops, uh, you could put it, you know, on, on the frame, but you know, I'm definitely not going to miss it. So we got to flip this over. All right. Basically acrylic paint is the only thing you're going to use. Uh, it dries like plastic. It's considered permanent. Um, even though we could scrape this off from glass, but on canvas, it's permanent. So um, at this point, guys, uh, I just want to show you what I've laid out. We have our frame. Um, we have paint in these big jars. I've set up my palette and I want to stress, I would like you guys to use like the old palettes because what's going to happen, you're really not going to be cleaning off the palette most times. You're going to just let it dry. Um, and then the next day you come in, it's going to be a hard surface. Um, you can just add more paint over the top of it. Um, if you have a lot of extra paint, you can still put a lid on it and it might save it um, for the next day. Um, as always, guys, you want to be really careful. You only put out what you're going to use. Okay. Uh, acrylic paint is much more expensive than tempera paint. This is the tempera paint. So think of it as like temporary. You know, a, a bottle like this costs about $10. A jug like this costs about $30. Okay. So, you know, keep in mind that it, every time you expose it to air, it dries out. But, um, you know, you've got to open this. Take just what you need. Put it on your palette and put that back in there. When you're done, and you know like you're completely done, you wanna get all the excess off, okay? Try to keep it all in there and put the lid on and tighten it up, okay? You know, the last thing you wanna do is make sure you tighten it up. Never pick these up from the lid because if somebody has not put it down, maybe even you, and it goes, you're gonna have a big mess. It's not cool, all right? Uh, take note. This does happen if you're using too short of, of um, a stir stick or a knife. Um, you want to avoid that because then it just gets messy. We do have some plastic rulers. See that? That will work really well. And you can, you know, do this. I'm going to say this right now. No splatter painting. Okay. Acrylic paint um, is extremely hard to get out of clothes. No splatter painting. Just brush. Okay. Um, also take note, I'm wearing a smock, okay? So I encourage you to put an apron on or a shirt just to protect your clothes. Um, and guys, if you get paint on the table, clean it up. Have, you know, a towel ready, clean it up. You know, be mindful, be thoughtful about this stuff, okay? So in any case, uh, guys, you also need a water container at least half full. Notice I have my paper towel. Um, to blot the water off my brush. This stuff needs to go away. So, you know, you don't want to get paint or water on that. Um, blot the brush dry. It's like the tempera paint. You don't want to add water and make it thin. It should go on really thick. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, and I'm going to pause now. I'm going to mix my paints and then I'm going to come back and show you my next step. Thanks. Okay. Um, you can see that I've basically kind of prepped my paints and I've mixed them. Um, you know, I like to do this whenever possible so that um, I'm just ready because the stuff does dry a little bit. Also, I want to point out that I know I just said don't add water, but I noticed this paint um, was really kind of stiff. 
So I did add a little bit of water and that's fine, but just know that that water is going to make this dry out a little faster. Okay. This color is going to be for my cat. Um, the white is going to go around the eye a little bit for emphasis and some contrast. The pink is going to go on the tongue. Um, and then these colors over here are going to be background colors. And um, I'm just going to kind of get crazy with it. Okay. Uh, take note. Guys, these brushes are much better. These smaller brushes are much better for uh, temper paint. Um, whereas these harder bristles are probably better for the acrylic. In this drawer, okay, sink is there. In this top drawer, you're going to find a bunch of kind of just these kind of brushes. And this is what we use for the murals. Um, on that note, you need to clean out your brushes extremely well when you're done with this. Like, you need to make sure it runs clean, you know, the, from the inside the brush. Because if there's a little paint in there, it dries out, makes the bristles stiff, and it's no good to anybody. Okay? So help yourself by doing it, giving yourself at least eight minutes to clean up, maybe even ten. All right? Now, guys, um, I want to encourage you to really think about doing this in stages. Okay, um, if you had just done this first thing that you're drawing and you kind of were like, man, I don't want to sit around and wait for paint to dry. We do have a hair dryer over here and it is in this. Well, it's supposed to live in this third drawer down. Okay, so if it's wet and you, you know, you're like, oh, I got 30 minutes. You can go ahead. Pretend I'm blow drying this. You can go ahead and use the hair dryer to dry this really quickly. Um, you know, I would recommend you do it longer than you think you need to do it. So this is all dry and doesn't smear as you do it. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, the white because that's my lightest value. And I'm going to come in here and notice I didn't use a whole lot. I'm actually going to go all the way around the blue. All right. Um, just like that. Carefully, you don't get it on the outside. And at this point, I'm not using any more white, so I'm going to put it in, in the water, start my cleaning process, okay, and just leave it. Now, the next step. I actually do need to add a little more water to that, okay? Next step is um, the blue. So basically, any, oh, I'm, am I even showing it to you? Any of the paint that I'm putting on needs to stay inside the dark blue outline. If you want to cover over the dark blue outline, that's fine, but just know that you don't want to go over, all right? So um, I can tell my paint's already starting to dry out. I wish I had used a firmer brush because um, this is, I can't push the paint around quite the way I want. Um, so again, just go slow around the edges. You want to keep it within those blue outlines. If you miss a few spots, it's not cool, or it is fine. It's, it can be cool to have just a flicker of a different color in the background. All right. So Come on, come on, paint. And remember, this is the back side, okay? Um, anytime you put white behind something, it will probably make it stand out more. Um, you can just cover right over this, okay? So, oops, I almost forgot. I almost forgot my tongue. So this is why you stop and you think about what you're doing. I need that little pink tongue. All right. So put that in. It looks cool already, doesn't it? Okay. Um, I'm not going to use this pink anymore. I wish I hadn't used so much, but that's just how it goes. Put it in here. Clean it out real good. Okay. Uh, bear with me. I know this is like probably getting seasick watching me, but uh, I loaded up my brush. Guys, I'm going to spread this out. 
um, because I had it so thick. I'm just going to cover right over that. Okay. Um, here's why keeping it simple is really important. Um, guys, you just, you know, I, I, I love my drawing. I'm happy with it. Pretty much if you have a strong drawing with this, then the colors are not as important as, as you know, regular painting. Um, because, you know, you can see I'm putting this on quickly, all right? And, you know, I just think about, okay, I need some strong contrast. I got a light, light blue. Hopefully I have enough paint and I just get it on, okay? So I'm going, I'm going, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. I'm going to get this, okay? And I guess the other thing I want to say is be consistent. You know, sometimes painters and artists midstream, you know, in the middle of working, they go, oh, I got an idea, and they change it. And that can be really good, or it can be a disaster. So... If anything, when in doubt, just keep it consistent, you know, and a lot of this is about believing because you can't see right now what your painting looks like on the other side, right? And it's kind of a surprise. It's kind of fun, all right, um, to have that. Ooh, I need a little more paint. So I had just enough, which is cool. Um, you can see I'm actually having to mix some of it on here. Okay, have I missed anything? Do your inventory. If I think I have, I'm going to go back over. All right. Check, check, check. Look at that. Okay. So it's real basic. Again, I'm cleaning my brush out. Now, here comes maybe the fun part. I'm just going to put stu uh, stuff in the background. Now, what I would really, what I should do, but I don't have time for it, is I should let all this dry. Okay. Then I might just turn it around and look at what it looks like. Because when I put the background in, I want it to be kind of free and expressive. Um, you know, you could do like stripes in the background or you could do polka dots. I'm just going to kind of do um, a bunch of polka dots of color and I'm not going to worry about them being too clean or, or nice. Um, beware, I just made a big mess. Okay, I'm going to clean that up sooner than later. Okay careful you know it's best if these things are actually secure on something and I'm going to start out with this color so I'm just gonna just like that and again maybe maybe you just you're like I want you know I want um, these colors to really stand out and I think what I'm gonna do because I do I, I like these colors I like this polka dot action um, and I'm going to let these dry, okay? Um, I think I'll stop in a second. I'll bust out the hair dryer. You know, I'll, I'll dry these guys up. Did you, you still thinking about how my wife does the, like, I'm starving in the window? Um, well, now it's like rain's coming down, you know? Um, real simple pattern, you know? Not going to overthink it. Well, that's hard for me. I always overthink it because, you know, I think too much. It's never enough. So I'm like, a little more in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use up my paint. And I'm going to just say this is good. Trust that it's going to be fine. You know what? I kind of want to make this to look like rain. So I'm going to stretch these shapes out a little bit. Okay. That's fun. That's cool. And um, we'll be back in a little bit. Thanks. All right, we're back. I am going to finish putting the background in. This is dried a little bit, but not as much as I wanted. I'm going to go to my uh, brush drawer. Ooh, I like this one. Uh, remember, you want them to be uh, a little more stiff than normal. I actually like to use different brush sizes, and then um, here we go. So let's see. I definitely want to start with some light colors because I'm gonna. All right. So I'm gonna start with the, the yellow. 
And I'm just going to get crazy at this point because, uh, well, one, I just don't have the luxury of time. And, you know, there's so that's one thing. But also, um, you know, we have a deadline. So I know that I just need to keep it simple. Um, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to badmouth myself and bum myself out. So it's really a lot of this is just about having a good attitude. Um, and in addition, I really want just to be, I want to be surprised. So I'm actually using one brush. I didn't plan to do that, but that makes sense because I am trying to do it quickly. So um, I don't want to get too much of this stuff on that uh, green because I can tell it's not quite fully dry, all right? Um, but if I do, it's not a big deal. It might end up being really cool, okay? And, you know, mix my colors. So I'm just gonna have a lot going on at this point and just have fun with it. If I need more paint, which I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna be, um, What's the word? I'm probably going to be putting a little more yellow on here because I want it to be bright and all that. And here we go. I'm starting to get a little tighter about it. Let me use up my red a little more. Get that in there. Um, you know, if you're into bold colors, that's fine. But I'll tell you right now, the earth tones are really popular, meaning different shades of browns and oranges and tans. And um, even some of the neutral colors, like different grays with color in them. So, um, you know, so what this is going to do is just create a good amount of unity by just kind of cruising around. And that's what a lot of painters do is I definitely need, I need some more, I need some more yellow. So, um, folks, I'm going to take a break. I'll come back. Thanks. Okay, so I put a little more yellow on here and actually a lot more yellow. And at this point, I'm just I'm just gonna try to cover all these spots that I think I missed. I'm not even sure at this point. And it doesn't even matter if you miss a couple spots because um, you know we're probably gonna put a coating of at least a, a white on in the back at the very minimum but you could even put a different color and that's going to bleed through and make it look pretty pretty, pretty. so here's a scoop uh here's my class i'm going to show this too as well it's in my third period we will uh we will not mention names or show faces because we are trying to conceal their identity because they're very important people um but at this point am i ready okay so you see how I'm, I'm, I really believe in the, like, too much is never enough. So, whoops, don't do that. That happens a lot if you're not paying attention and you're in a hurry. But again, goodness, clean it and clean it fast. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see our results. Oh, it's so cool. Oh. All right, folks, it's bright. All right, so it's not finished, but it's pretty close to it. Okay, thanks.